Myself, I'm very thankful for this wonderful day, even for our friends that are at home. As we heard that he is coming here, we were very excited and we prayed much for him. But the wonderful thing to thank, he has been together since he, he arrived here. He ate in joyful, he loves us. More and more I saw his compassion heart uh, for those who are in need, especially orphans and widows. I asked myself, uh, there is some time when we came here in Soma town, I found the widows and the orphans were used to come to my home so to get something to eat. But me and my husband, Bishop Daudi, we do to our best to help them. Though we have nothing, maybe, or a small, but we do talk with my husband, Bishop Daudi. And we prayed for that. Uh, need people, uh, orphans and widows, so that may God open the door. That's why, Pastor Tom, you saw some of we, uh, orphans um, staying with them in my home. And I'm still praying to God to open another window and doors. And may God continue blessing us to, to give me and my husband more wisdom. Because it is a heavy duty. They need to put on clothes to eat. Malazi, even to even to accommodate them. Na mahitaji ya shule. Also some school needs. Sasa ni mzigo mzito. So it is a hard duty. Lakini namuamini Mungu. But I believe in God. Atatusaidia katika mzigo huo. He will pass us through to overcome this challenge. <laughs> opportunity to, to talk about uh, something. First of all, I would like to give my thanks to Almighty Father in the heaven, our Lord God, who himself allowing Pastor Tom to come and to travel from far, USA and Chicago, to come in Tanzania. Uh, <clears throat> it was not a simple, a simple travel, a simple journey from there to here, but it was a good plan. And all of us, we have to believe on it that it was a good plan to make, uh, to make uh, Pastor Tom to be here, to meet with us in Tanzania, to share something that is very special for our country and also in Chicago. Uh, the second thing that I would like to say, uh, Pastor Tom, I learned some, some things from you that is very necessary for each one here to understand. He's 
also uh, have an organization that is Stand with Africa. So it is a good vision, it is a good dream, as God is still using him, we thank, we thank it and we thank to God for it. Also, <coughs> because uh, Hope in Christ Church in Tanzania, we invited him and he is here today. We would like to say something uh, very special as a message. Of course, it's my personal now, my personal message and request. Uh, Hope in Christ Church, we have a uh, lot of problems and challenges. Of course, uh, Pastor Tom uh, moved around in some places here in Tanzania, in some villages, and he experienced uh, what I'm saying. Here is another road that we're on, coming back from two of the churches in Tanzania. And we're in far out parts where it's hard to get to, but people are living. And so the gospel must be preached and churches must be functioning. Okay, here we are in the church of Buruma. And this is in Tanzania. It is a beautiful people. This is the pastor right here of the church. God bless you. videos with the churches on it but just to show you how some of God's people are living we're going yes. to visit one of the widows down this road here Lord, you shed your blood so this daughter could be healed. I speak to HIV. I command you to leave her body. Jesus is healed. We command you to go out completely. Father, restore the blood. Baba, urejeshe damu iliyo sasa. Fix it, Lord. Baba, asante. Restore her health. Hebu urejeshe afya yake. Let her be strong. Hebu umfanye awe na nguvu. And let her be blessed. Na umfanye abarikiwe. To take care. Na umtunze. Of her health. Katika nyumba yake. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen.
so <coughs> he saw the challenges to the widows to the orphans uh, we have a lot of widows we have a lot of orphans here in our church and also in outside the church and uh, bishop daudi uh, who is pastor tom's host uh, i think he he has a vision also to help the helpless uh, to help the homeless these widows and the orphans of course uh, many of them are affected from hiv aids and their parents uh, passed away they died from hiv and the children are remaining in poor backgrounds and we are continue to help them to support them but thank you brother tom because uh, god brought you at, at the right time at the right moment hopeful that uh, through you god can open uh, many doors many windows in the heaven so that we can join our hands america and tanzania we can join our hands to support these disabled orphans disabled widows so that to see and to reach the god's will because uh, god says we have to love our neighbors as we love ourselves the hills up there after that we'll go to one more church everybody needs jesus in far out parts where it's hard to get to but people are living and so the gospel must be preached and churches must be functioning so i have the other videos with the churches on it but just to show you how some of god's people are living and how we must stand with them and be with them because we're all one church in Christ. Amen. Thank you, Brother Tom. May God bless you when you are going back to the to the US. My name is Evangelist Amos Mazila. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Pastor Jeremiah Nyangwara from Soma, Tanzania. First of all, I can think I can thank God Almighty whom brought Pastor Tom in Tanzania. Uh, Tanzania is a third world country in the world. We have many problems we face and uh, we have many challenges we face. So it is the church whom can trace all those challenges. And it is the church which planted by Jesus Christ can afford to take the opportunity and can be supposed to do many things for the need. Uh, in, the, in these countries there are so many regions and so many people who are tortured by poor. Weakness of these countries is poor. Many people are so poor. So they don't have any power or assistant power to take over any something, even food for it. So it's too hard. Whatever they lack, even the knowledge, they need more schools, they need more assistance, but government did not use to do this. So the support, big support must come from the church. So if we met Brother Tom as a pastor of the church, he is the God's servant, and he, the, it seems that he's like an angel from the up countries so <laughs> it's a big challenge that we pray if God it is his willing he may allow others to share with him how can they join this battle how can they help Africa stand with it Africa's own can't afford but with the unit of America with Africa we can afford I think it is better for us and it will be better for God Jesus would would uh, be happy if we do good things for the needy so that's why we pray we pray and pray if God willing we come to appear let us take over this and let us you make this challenge to come free let those 
who are in bondage being freed by proclaiming the gospel to them and let us walk around there are so many street kids who are helpless how can we take over them nothing but if we have any support we can do much better than so may god help you may god uplift this vision and may god support this thank you thank you Okay, we are in Tanzania in a town, and this is a local church that we are partnering with. They are standing in front of a building that they are believing God to finish so they could expand their church. And I'm gonna show the church that they're in now, and we'll take a look inside real fast. This is where they are currently in. And this is the vision that God will produce for his glory. Everyone say glory to God. Amen. Amen. I showed you the front of the church and, and some of the people of God. But this right here is, is the beginning of a new building. So we want to help finish this vision and this project along with many other projects. Because as we give, Jesus said, "Men will, uh, it will be given back unto you. Amen. Good measure, pressed Amen. down, shaken together and Woo! running over. Amen. So be blessed as you bless the people of God. Amen. 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 God bless you. President of Stand with Africa with I hope in Christ Church in Tanzania. We love and we ask God to stand with us 
through this mission. God bless all people who will join us to stand with us through this, our mission. Amen. Amen. And I would like to add that it's such a great priv privilege to be working for Jehovah God because his plan is that he wants all to be saved. It's his desire that all be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth to the uttermost parts of the earth. And so it's also his desire that he stands with widows and orphans. And as we read in the Bible, he has revealed that in the scripture. And so we are acting upon the Father's will and we believe that he will empower us and we will see great things done that the kingdom of God will be established here. God's will will be done on earth like it is in heaven. All of so in Jesus' name we stand together. Amen. 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 The Father of the Lord Jesus. Oh, Baba wa Yesu Christo. He is so awesome. Oh, itakuwa ni ajab. How many of you want to see his face? Wangapi wanatamani kuona uso wake?